Hi everybody, Maria here. Um, so today I just want to show you a couple of just very quick and very simple ways of using uh, your Distress reinker bottles, okay, with uh, the shaping foam uh, technique, okay. So I've got a couple of finished pieces here and I've got a couple of pieces kind of uh, sort of half done, half dried um, that we can sort of have a, a quick little play with here. So what you'll see here is that on this card here um, the, the bright colours are in the background, there's no particular pattern to them, it's a background and then I've done a focal on top of the, um, the shaving foam. And then on this one here, um, what you'll see is we've got a definite kind of uh, shape, a definite pattern here. Um, so very different sort of uh, pieces, all right, but using the same batch of shaving foam. Okay, so let's just um, pop those over out of the way so they don't get grubby for the moment. Stand up, go on, there we go. Okay. I'll tell you a bit more about what I've used on those uh, in a while. So we're going to start with just a plastic tub. So what I tend to do is I keep my um, my things of, of shaving foam and um, a, a scraper tool and so forth in this. And then that way, I've always got a tub. I haven't got to root around for, for a tub. So um, as far as which shaving foam to use, um, well, any, to be honest, you know, cheapest chips will do. I somehow... I just end up with a little bit of a, a, a collection, so you'll see. Um, this one's a bit dodgy. I, I don't know who named that one, um, but hey ho. Uh, cheap as chips, Asda, and then um, the the Gillette. Actually, I bought that by mistake um, for Peace because he actually uses gel. So I thought, okay, that's no problem. I'll have that then. All right, so let's uh, make a start now i think this as to one is starting to run out so i might as well okay so just going to yeah i'll, I'll use that because it's a bit noisy so we'll get rid of that one let's have a go with the here we go so just give that a shake and then oh there you go nice bit smoother that one okay now that is absolutely tons in there all right uh really as tons you're going to get a really nice sort of um batch of um of work out of that okay so then we're going to add some colors so what i've got here i've just picked just a little random um selection so i've got squeezed lemonade i've got picked raspberry uh, broken china salty ocean and twisted citron okay um, I wouldn't go for any more colours than that because um, the more colours that you add, uh, you can you can end up with mud. All right. So also have a think about the colours that you're going to put together. Um, so for me, for example, I know that blues and greens are, are going to be okay. They're going to mix. They're going to be be good side by side. And then of course yellow with those colours is, is going to be fine. If the yellow mixes with the blueies, you're going to end up with more greens. And then the 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 pink uh, pink with the the blue, uh, we're going to end up with maybe a little bit of sort of purpley colour, and then a sort of a peachy orangey colour if these ones mix as well. But that's the maximum colours that I would recommend putting together. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just take a few squeezies. So we're going one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to aim for five drops. Of each colour to begin with. We can always add more if we feel it's necessary but let's just get some colour on here. Okay one two three four five. Uh, let's see squeeze lemonade. I also don't go for too much um, sort of very very light colours because we want this to show up. We want the, the, the colours to be visible. So I only tend to put one very pale colour. One, two, three, four, five. Let's have a look at that now. We should be okay with that. All right, so those lids are all back on there. Okay, I'm going to give this a mix. So somewhere here in my little mountain, I've just got a 
special exclusive tool sponsored by um, Costa or Starbucks or McDonald's I don't know okay so we're just going to just up and down swirly 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 okay let's have a look I think it's just a tiny tiny bit more if you mix it too much again this is where your colors can end up sort of muddy okay so you want to still be able to see all of those individual colors okay so you pop the stick to one side and we are ready to go so various ways that we can use this so um, to use this for a, a background um, as I did on this card here quite simply all we need to do is take a piece of card make sure that it's going to fit in your in your tub okay and just pop that card in give it a press don't press it too hard um, we don't have to cover the whole of the of the card let's have a little look and then i'm going to lift it up and have a look so there's plenty on there you can see now you've got a couple of options we can take that away as it is and leave it to dry or if you are in a rush then what we can do is we'll take that out for a second just pop that down here and take a scraper or your ruler whatever is fine and just take that off so you've got all of this okay that's gonna go back into the pot like so okay and that is pretty much ready to use okay um, I would just grab a cloth just to give it just a little wipe especially if you're going to sort of do any work on top of that okay because otherwise it's a bit silky because it's got conditioners and so forth in the in the shaving foam all right so that there is a lovely background ready to do something like that so on this one what i've done you'll see i've got a shine on there i decided to go for a black glossy uh, paste so this is the stencil itself um is actually uh from sweet poppy from our lovely um our lovely lucy ellis there we go uh, it's called black orchid and quite simply i've just used this, the uh, the sweet poppy uh, black glossy paste through the stencil on top of there okay so it was really strong and stood out really nicely against the um against the the bright colors there in the background okay so the other way that we can use this or one of the other ways one of the, the other way that we're going to sort of have a look at today is to actually use it through um through a stencil so we're going to go with a couple of stencils here um so this one here is a it's a clarity stencil i think it's an olive branch or, or something I, I forget it's um it's an older stencil but it's it's a it's a nice one uh, i think originally it was for christmas but i use it for um for all sorts to be honest okay so we've got that so if we bring in uh our tub and we can simply take uh our scraper we can literally just take this and go into the the, the pot like so pick some of our mix up just pop that over there and just literally take this through the stencil like so let's just get rid of the excess there we go i'm going to get rid of that again into the pot okay and just give my scraper a quick wipe okay this is all water-based so it's all washable so there's nothing that's um go into you know ruin a stencil or a scraper or, or anything like that okay and then when we take that off this is what we've got now it always appears 
um, kind of a little bit milky because what we've got here is not just the colour, we've also got the, the sort of milkiness of the, um, the shaving foam as well. So this needs to go to one side to, to dry. And depending on the conditions of your room, um, I mean, you can speed this up, you know, if you put it sort of close to a radiator, it can be dry, you know, in sort of 10, um, 15 minutes. Other than that, maybe, maybe an hour, okay? And then let's have a little look. Now, I wanted to show you um, the other stands. I wanted to see if I may have waited too long here something that you can do this may or may not work on this one because I've done my prep and and so forth I have a feeling it won't work on this one actually looking at it this is pretty much dry when you're kind of halfway dry um, something that you can do is actually take a, a, another piece of card and pop it over I've got another one that I can try here that I did a little bit after this one but if we can't get one, um, that if we've sort of missed the boat with my prep, then have a go yourself and, and see. Let's have a little look. Oh, a very, very, very pale one. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I'm surprised at that because that one really is almost, almost dry. Um, but uh, that's what we can, we can achieve. If we try to do it too soon, what will happen is for this one, for example, that I've just done, what will happen is because this is all very wet and very kind of raised, we will just squidge that with the piece of card and then we'll lose all of that lovely um, design, you see. Okay, so that's why we can't do it too soon. You've got a short window to do it. Um, let's have a little look at this one and see what we can get off this one as um as an extra pull let me have a little look i'm going to take this same piece of card and just use the the other side and see if we can get one from from this so again look very very pale but sometimes pale is good so this stencil here is uh, an all and create it's this one here i've actually had this out uh, using this with some stamps, um, prepping um, a stamping workshop, an all and create stamping workshop. So it was on the, the tail. I thought, well, actually, let's have a little go with that as well. So I think when that's trimmed down, that's going to look quite good. Um, so let's have a look at this stencil again. So let's get another um, card because this really is lovely. Very, very, very nice. I'm just going to pop that piece to one side okay so again so what I've got here could because this is a metal stencil I've got a piece of uh, magnet so I'm going to put my card and then I'm going to pop my stencil over like so uh, now I don't actually need to stick this down if I don't want to because it's stuck down with the with, with the magnet um, but if we want to protect the card around the stencil then we do need to use some tape okay so this is just uh, low tack stencil tape there we go I know you can get a uh, stencil tape uh, from uh, Sweet Poppy um, and also uh, there is uh, sticks too I tend to use a lot they're, they're a company that I use a lot but uh, the key is just for it to be low tack here we go all right so again we've got this lovely um, batch here so we can just take the spreader and again we can just pick up uh, I'm going to pick this up actually that's that's left on the on the side and we can just okay down we go and just spread that through the stomach bit at the bottom so I'll just come across again there we go and again this will go back in the pot and you can see that there is still such a lot um, in that um, in that tub you can um, get a really really good batch um, it's one of the things that I quite like to do is to get a few stencils out and a few pieces of card and just keep dipping and dipping and spread in and spread in and get lots of nice designs and and allow them to dry right okay so I'm just going to pull my magnet away and my, my stencil 
take that off there we go look at that isn't that beautiful and again don't have to worry too much if this was paste i'd have to get this into, into water immediately um there's not quite the same urgency it's just shaving foam and water based ink okay but i will wash that in um in a moment as soon as I've, I've sort of finished chatting to you there you go so you'll see on here again it's got this lovely um, milky look there as well and it's quite sort of dimensional at the moment and that's actually the air that's in the um, the shaving foam and it's as the air um, sort of dissipates that the um, the colour is um, is left behind and you tend to find that the the colour can be um, a little brighter there as well okay so again I'm going to pop that one to one side um, and then let's see what else I've got so here I've got another piece that I dunked quite a long while ago and I left um, the um, the shaving foam on there um, so I can either just scrape that off now or again I could take let's take this piece of card because that's hardly sort of used really and then I'll just pop that over the top give that a press and I can get another print from there that's quite cool I like it when it doesn't cover the whole of the of the card um, I find that far more interesting than complete coverage there we go and then we'll just scrape that away and then we've got a couple more pieces to use okay if you see fit to use it that way and again the excess can go back in the pot right okay let's have a little look here then so let's just make one of these into into a card um, from earlier as i say we've got a couple that are drying um so this one all i'm going to do here is i'm there we go it's kind of the opposite isn't it which is quite nice i'm just going to grab my trimmer bring that in just pop that to one side and then i'm going to have some tape and i'm going to pull out one of these colors as well for some backing so i've got some pink i think that will go quite nicely uh and then what else do i need do i need anything else um maybe a sentiment i'm not sure I'm not sure we'll see okay so just going to trim this down there just so you can see the finished piece really I'm going to take that down to there because I have a little smear at the bottom and then a little bit off the top as well let's have a look I think that's fine okay I'm going to pop the trimmer out of the way a little look so I'm going to edge this with black sharpie first of all there we go if you're nervous of doing that freehand use a ruler it's fine but I find this saves me time um, and money as well on black card right okay that's that let's have a little look so i've got the pink card let's get some tape here we go I'll just stick this down and give this a trim let's see which way no not enough card really i'm trying to be stingy with the card <laughs> it's one of my favorite colors of card this one this raspberry color so um i'm trying to preserve it <laughs> okay let's trim that down there we go as well and take a tiny bit more off there I think that'll do 
that'll be okay here we go all right so i have my topper so i've got choices here now so what i've done is i've just die cut just nice and i don't want to take too much attention away from this lovely um design really so i've just die cut a happy birthday in small so i've gone i've got a pink one to match the card okay what do we think it's nice i like the idea but i tend to like my sentiments to to pop see the black i mean what I could do in actual fact i could put these together glue these together as a shadow and i could do it that way actually what do you think yeah do you know i think i'll do that okay right so i'm just going to take a little bit of uh, glue here i'm going to pop it just on my on my hand okay if you if you have sensitive skin then just put it on uh, some cellophane or that sort of thing rather than on your on your hand and i'm just going to run the die cut through there let's move that out of the way and then i'm going to pop this onto this one just offset that so that we can see the pink yeah okay cool and then let's get a tiny bit more glue to make sure this is well stuck down there we go that'll do save waste in the glue just give that a press into the glue and then let's decide Mm -mm -mm. what do you think what do you think see my I, I just kind of want to put it in the middle there really I'm going to go with that I'm going to go with that because there's still plenty of design there isn't there here we go give that a little press as well okay so that is my big topper so that is going to go onto an A5 card like so there we go nice rainbow black orchid there we go that's the other one there you go job done so that is just a couple of ways to use uh, your shaving foam with your distress reinkers these really are um, you know as far as investing money in your in your crafting goodies these are an excellent investment because um, first of all you know we've invested lots of money in our um, distress ink pads haven't we really um, and when one does dry up you know when you've got a favorite color or a few favorite colors and you use a lot and it dries there is no need to throw that away if you bought one of these for your favorite color okay if you only ever use this to re-ink your pad there is enough in one of these bottles to completely re-ink your pad like new six times so think about that what is six distress ink pads going to cost you it's going to it's going to cost you a a lot of money this is kind of the price of one of those ink pads and then of course there's lots and lots of tricks that we can do with these and um, they, these are something that i'll be using um, in class again soon in, in my my workshops um, so it, it's a good idea to have a, a few um, of these i use them a lot um, so i hope that um, that kind of whetted your appetite a little bit give you a couple of reminders um, of, of things to do or maybe this is a completely new idea to you um, so I hope that you enjoyed that um, take care and I hope to see you again soon bye for now